What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here. Let me check this camera. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I couldn't see it. So, what we got for your face balls today? Sitting here with my lovely wife Molly. Hey. Our dog Walter's making some noise in the background, so that's just status quo. Is playing. Yeah, playtime apparently. So, we got a couple things for you. Got a new package from Spiderco. Uh, so, we're going to check that out. We're also going to preemptively assemble a knife here. This is a knife. I got a couple of these, and they're going to be up on the website. Uh, but this one's kind of in process. Uh, some of the mod work is done. Uh, some of it isn't. So I'm going to test fit everything to see how it looks because I've made some significant changes to it. But we're going to check that out in just a moment. So I think let's... Should we start with this? Sure. Eh, oh, let's not. You're such a tease. <laughs> so another thing that I wanted to show you guys, we've got some other uh, mod work here going on uh, for some cool knives coming to the website very, very soon. Uh, some of you guys might know what this, uh, what that piece is for. And oops, let's see. Yeah, it goes like this, something like that, and then kind of like like so. These are these are in process, but uh, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is the new uh, Cold Steel eighty fifteen light. Uh, I've got a couple of these that I'm modding up for the website, uh, so. Come back and check this out but these are in process uh, still got some work to do on them but yeah that's pretty cool and then we also got this uh, couple of these big gigantic blade right here a big old hog yeah in process so you know come back bring your green hat come here come on yeah and we also got uh, several of these you guys might know what these are for uh, but we're gonna get some color on these as well as doing some other stuff so you know just uh, just things things are happening things are happening knife things knife ideas knife <laughs> mods <laughs> that's, knife. that's right I'll never stop using that yeah yeah so on this particular uh, mamma jamma right here uh, this blade actually I've got another one over here. That boy can't ever come prepared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have brought this one. So, this blade started out life looking like this. Uh, so you can see it no longer has a flipper tab. It now has a thumb stud hole. Uh, yeah, so we might change up the shape of it in some other ways as well. But we're going to take a look. So this here is the uh, uh, CJRB Kicker uh, Recoil. Um, it's pretty interesting the way these uh, all the components work on this. It, you know, I mean, fundamentally it is like an axis lock. But it, there's a whole bunch of parts that make this assembly up. You got all these little bitty pins. Um, and yeah it's, it's kind of interesting that's that's for sure but uh you know you got the slider bar up on top but to me because it's more like an axis lock um to me it needed to be a thumb stud knife instead of a flipper tab knife and i think that that's just going to work out way better but you know time will tell i suppose we Fantasy? We f we fit to find out. So it's got uh, you know Omega like springs. They're a little bit they're shaped a little differently, and I'm not exactly sure how the reassembly on this is going to go because, like I said, they're it's it's kind of interesting uh, the way this setup it works and. You got this uh, bar here that it just complicates things. 
you know, uh, for the assembly process and whatnot. So you have the bar, and then to make matters even worse, instead of just having, you know, that bar with, uh, you know, like on an axis lock knife, you have this piece, which sits over top of it. And then in order to keep that in, it's got two tiny little pins that just set in there and are captured. They're like little nails uh, with no point on them. They just have a, a head on them. Just a wee little pin. Yeah, and they, are, they get captured in place by the scale. Uh, in this case is carbon fiber. But it just makes for a very... Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Precarious. Uh, finicky type of a setup. I don't know. It's it's definitely sh different and weird. Okay, we got that spring in there. How are you going to keep those pins in there when you flipped over to do the other side? Well, oh, that's you... what this does. That's why I'm saying this is going to be a bit of a trick to get. Oh, 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 oh there, no. there, there, there it went. It's going to be a bit of a trick to. You need uh, delicate hands. I need delicate hands. Mm -hmm. Are you saying my hands aren't delicate? Yeah. Hmm. I thought we already established that your hands were never delicate ever. Well, not even one day. Not even one day? No. Really? I'm pretty sure you were born with with aggressive hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I can tell already, this is going to be a comedy of errors. This is my first attempt at uh, going back together for the recoil lock on the old kicker here. So this might just be a lot of comedy, maybe. You've got to be shitting me. <laughs> now she's just laughing at me. <laughs> I just want to grab it out of your hand and do it, but I know oh. it's not as easy as like it feels like it should be in my mind. Well, if people are going to be here for the next six months, we could watch you put it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nobody breathe. I'm not really sure what the best uh, now what <laughs> what the best protocol is here because one two three flip. Well, I'm not worried about the flip part. What I'm worried about is getting the space between the two uh, liners. Oh, you got to be shitting me. So, I don't know if I should try and build this. Because you can't. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a dilemma. It really is. Because. Quite a conundrum. You cannot um, get this fed through. Hello. Actually, I think, I think the, the way to do this. I think I got it. The way to do this is not to, to worry about the scales and the pivot uh, until the end. I think that's the way to do this. Okay. So let's try this. It's like one of those puzzles you watch uh, old boy putting together or trying to figure out. Old boy. Mm -hmm. Who's old? I don't know who old boy is. You know, old boy that does the puzzles. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you talking about the Canadian magician? Mm, mm hmm Gotcha, gotcha. I'm with you now. Um, yeah, I feel like... I feel like maybe the thing to do here... Is... To get this in... Mm 
There's just a lot going on with this little thing. I mean, a lot of people find Axis lock knives hard to put together. Mm -hmm. um, and this is way more in depth uh, because of this component with the, the pins. Yeah. Uh, but you're not going to be able to get all that put together with the scale on, but the scale's got to be on to hold it. It's it's a thing. It's a well, it's a real conundrum here. That is a thing. Yeah. Uh, and in order to no get carpet that... licking. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch! Something that you always hear in YouTube videos: no carpet licking. <laughs> They're up to no good when they start doing stuff like that. We're talking okay. about an old man who's so desperate for food. I don't know. He licks carpet? He, yeah. He might just eat the carpet because it tastes like bone or something. Hey, why don't you shake elsewhere? All right. So if I have the blade sandwiched in there, and sir, you are being an intention seeking. Baby. I feel like I need to have the stop pin in there. Wow, this thing, it's going to be an ordeal. I'm going to use these because they have a small boy. Okay, stop pins in. Blade and bearings are in. I need to get one of these standoffs. Where they put these together at the factory, they have to have some sort of a fixture to hold all these parts and pieces together. Because mm -hmm. this is way, you got way too many loose components happening here. Mm hmm Dag nab. Okay. Okay. Now think that will hold on to that. I wonder if they like set these these uh, uh, backspacers, thank you. Or standoffs, I mean, if they like set them in with some glue or something. Hmm. Did they seem hard to get out? 
Um, stuck. Kind of, but they're free spinning, so I think I broke them loose. Uh, Hey, Walter. Did you know that you're the prettiest boy in the whole world? I thought so. We getting somewhere, folks. Things are happening. That might be totally wrong. I don't know. Like I said, this is my first time assembling one of these, but I, you know, I assemble uh, and disassemble uh, many a knife in my day, uh, but I would absolutely tell you that this is, this one here is not really for the faint of heart. That would be pretty funny if somebody fainted because it was too difficult to put a knife together. <laughs> I would definitely make fun of that person. You would definitely make fun of that person. Oh, yeah. so we're on the downhill slide now, folks. So shoot, say nothing. Okay. Back on the wood. Uh, I feel pretty confident about it now. Yeah. Yeah. How do your fat fingers even hold something like that? Your boy's got skills. <laughs> you didn't know this? I mean, yeah, but I'm getting sick of it. Can you be bad at something? <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, T8. Once this screw goes in, now we're really on the downhill slide. Bitch, what? <laughs> you ain't got shit on, Justin. Uh, that's right. Fucking recoil lock my ass. Uh, okay. Now, all of this was just to go ahead. Oh. Oh, uh, well, it doesn't matter. There is a backspacer, which, hey, that would have helped. That would have been a lot easier to <laughs> get that in there. Um, oh. But it doesn't really matter because the standoffs uh, sit between the scales. So the back, backspacer or not doesn't really make a difference. Um, so that works out. All right. Now... For the uh, thumb stud, which was never a part of this knife prior to this right here. Hopefully, I'm perfect. My hole is the correct size. I always like a good fit and hole. You can't, you know, you don't want that hole all wallered out or anything. Yeah, it's important when you're studding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if when you're when you're studding. You, you got to have a tight fit and hole. Let's be honest. It'd be like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's cool. <laughs> yep. All right. Give a little little tightening up to the stud here. Now, just for good measure, just because I want the full effect, I am going to put a pocket clip on. We're going to set it up. We'll do right hand carry. These are T6. Okay. Tighten this up a bit. Off camera. Well, just want to hold on to it. Okay. Now, we're not too concerned with whether everything's perfect right now because, like I said, this is just 
a test fit of everything. But already, personally, I think it looks way better than having that big flipper tab hanging down there. What do you think? Because this is what the blade did look like. Yeah. So you like it flipper delete? Mm-hmm. I do too. Now, I do think I already changed up the back side of the handle here. You can see where I've been grinding on it. Uh, it was shaped quite a bit differently than that, and it stuck out further. Uh, but it works like an axis lock. Bitch, what? The thumb stud is just a better scenario all the way around. And yeah, I, to me, this is just a better setup to work like an axis lock instead of using it up on top. So it, it truly is basically just an axis lock that you have the option to grab from the top. So, you know, you can still grab it from the sides. It's a more complicated axis lock. <laughs> Is, is what it is. Over the but, complicated. But you guys saw all the parts and pieces. So if you have one of these, if you're, you know, afraid to tear it apart, um, I would recommend just, you know, if you want to service it, clean it out, whatever, just pull the pivot, leave everything else together because you can, you know, just pull the axis bar back or in this case the recoil bar and then the blade's totally loose. You can push the pivot barrel out pull the blade, clean the bearings and all the stuff, and then put it all back together. But here it is, thumb stud. Um, I'm still going to make a few other, other changes to this because I just don't really care for the aesthetic. Uh, but it's getting there. I like it way better with the thumb stud than the flipper tab. And yeah, there you go. There you have it, folks. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Uh, I don't want to lose that backspacer. Although, the, the open flow-through design might work out. All right. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here from the old Spatico. Stop. You want to use your poochie? If the seal is broken. Here. I'll let you use the poochie. Go ahead. Arf, arf. Arf, arf. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh, sh 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can see you going off the edge of the box and cutting the shit out of my fingers. Yeah, that that could have absolutely happened. Yeah. It's not a good angle The poochie sharp. All right. We got one. This box was pretty light, so... Just one? Just one. Oh. There we go. Oh. All right. We got one here. Uh-oh. I see what it is. I see what it is? God. Before I open it? Yeah. No. What, what good is that? You'll see with the people. Okay, whatever. It is a model number C85. Niner. <laughs> GP Tango Nancy 2. <laughs> Niner. All right, you ready? Let me yeah. see the. Uh huh. Oh. Uh huh. Oh, do you know what it is? No. You can't tell from that? A native 5. No. A not PM even. 2. Not e no. Not close. Uh, not even kind of sort of close. G10. Uh, yes, that's G10. That is G10. You guys have any guesses? Guesses? Oh, I know now. You know? Uh, oh, you saw because you saw the sticker. Yeah. Boom! There it is. This is a Yo Jimbo or Yo Himbo, depending on uh, your uh, preferred uh, pronunciation. Okay. And this, I don't know what they're going to call that, beige or something, G10. What's it? What does it look like? I mean, I think it looks gray. But... Gray? It's kind of a brown. All right, this is a DLT trading exclusive. Uh, this is in 20 CV, and it doesn't, I don't see. CVM, 20 CV. Yeah, 20 CV. Oh, 
Huh. It talks about the G10 here. Another distinct as aspect of this exclusive Yohimbo 2 is its handle, which showcases tan. Oh, they're just calling it tan. Tan G10. I disagree. Yeah, it's kind of a... Uh, I don't know. You guys... To me, it's, it's, it's kind of like an off-white. It's really light. For sure. So, I mean, it's going to, if you wanted to dye it, it's, it's going to die. It's scale gray. It's not, I wouldn't say it's off white at all. Okay. Whatever. But little Yojimbo, Yohimbo, whatever you want to call it, it's here. This is, it's that, it's this right here. That's, that's Hollow it. ground, 20 CV, you know, guaranteed someone's going to put in the comments that I mispronounced it, whatever. I'm sorry, I'm not... You said the options, I'm Yo not, Jimbo I, or Yo Himbo, whatever you want. I don't care. <laughs> right. So, We're in America. We, J's or J. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yo Jimbo. Um, but it never fails. Someone will... And, and I, all I can say is, I'm sorry, I'm not nearly as perfect as you are. I apologize. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Please, for the love of all that is holy... <laughs> Grace us with your presence on YouTube. Uh, uh, yes. We're just trying to have a good time. Yeah, we're just having fun here. I know that you, you know, you, you turn know water into everything. wine and all, all sorts of different things. And I, I cannot do that. And I feel like a lesser human for it. Okay. Can you come over and turn dog crap into wine, please? Because <laughs> your perfection is needed. We, You know the drill. We got to find out, is this 20 CV uh, sharp? out of the box and i should have had this loaded up but you need to watch your toe sir i don't and so i'm doing it now so that's what you get you get what you get and you don't throw fit wish more people just came to terms with that <laughs> okay 20 CV, Yojimbo, Tan G10, She's a Beaut, DLT exclusive, things pretty badass, that's for sure. Let's see what we're working with. You got any guesses? For those that don't know, what we're looking for here is something under 200. Uh, let me just make sure that you can see the, okay, you can see the numbers. Uh under 200 grams is uh, is a really superb uh, factory edge. Anything under 350, and we're shaving arm hair. Uh, so under 200 is really, really nice. But let's find out how the Yohimbo stacks up. Here we go, here we go. One eighty, so under the two hundred mark, uh, not by a ton, but definitely under. So nice factory edge, Golden Colorado, doing it again. For those that are familiar and have ha handled one of these, um, you know, definitely an interesting design. It's a Janich design, uh, and it you know it's meant to be a self defense knife or some sort of a fighting knife, whatever. Uh, it's very comfortable in hand. And, yeah, kind of a weird-looking thing, but the Yojimbo's been around for a minute, and, and a cool knife, definitely. Speaking of that, CMEs for Yojimbo, they are different. Uh, the Yojimbo and Yojumbo are actually two different CMEs, and uh, they will be coming really soon. I do have them designed, and I have them, uh, I'm working on making some stock, uh, so I've been asked about them many, many times and keep your panties on. <laughs> yep. They're coming. I just, I've been super busy and yeah. So there you go. And a lot's coming You know, up, doing so. stuff like this with the recoil lock. All right. Well, do you got anything else? No. I do have a video coming uh, real soon and we're going to be talking knife sharpeners. So stay tuned if you guys are interested in that. Uh, I got some good stuff to talk about, some things to bitch about. You know the drill. I like to bitch about stuff. So there was a new knife sharpener that came out that I had really high expectations for, and it was a huge disappointment. 
Yeah, bitching about stuff is great. Yeah, so maybe that'll be a PSA video that I'm going to bitch about a knife sharpener that was a big-ass disappointment. So, you guys have that to look forward to because I was really excited about it and then it just wah, wah, wah. Sucks to suck. Yeah, but the good news is I'm pretty confident we're going to be able to mod it up some and turn it into something that actually is usable. So that video is coming soon. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Otherwise, go check out the website. Send us an email if you're interested. You got anything you want to uh, ask us? There's our email address. Website, ocdforedc.com. Follow us on the Instas. That's the website right there. Follow us on the Instagram. And, yeah. OCD for EDC on Instagram. And Mrs. underscore OCD. There you go. On Instagram. And, uh, yeah. Website, right on. Website, buy things, and, you know, be patient. Yeah. Things are always coming. Keep all your chins up. I have 14. <laughs> keep, keep all your chins up. and uh, I can only keep 13 up, though. And tough times don't last. Tough people do. So stay the course. All right. We out. Bye.